Leo. <clears throat> How do you do? Today is your time. Leo's reading today. This is a weekly intuitive card reading for Leo. Weekly messages. It's going to be a general reading. <laughs> Very funny. Don't do that. Stop it. A general reading. For you guys. Blessed love. I want to know what's uh, what's going on in your energy the most right now. Leo's energy. Uh, I know that everyone is going through something right now because we're in a state of in the pandemic. And a lot of people may be feeling fearful. So I'm here for you, here with you today to give you some encouragement, some advice, some insights into better interpreting the emotions, the situations that you're going through so that you can feel more grounded and aligned. That's if you're not feeling this way. So... So this reading is for Leo, Sun, and other placements. Sign. We'll get some messages for you today. All right, Leo, ready up. You're reading. Let's go. What's going on in your energy? Talk to me. I feel like something is bothering you, but um, you're still moving and creating and doing what you have to do. There is something. I don't want to say it's weighing on your mind. It feels more in your heart space. In your heart space. Queen of Swords. Okay, so what's going on in Leo heart space? So Leo's heart space might be a little bit blocked off today. They might be choosing what to let in. They might be wising up about certain situations. Um, working on their boundaries. What boundaries are they working on? So Queen of Swords. I believe, I feel that like Leo are working on their standards, their boundaries, their values. They're choosing what to let in and what not. So they're re-evaluating. They're in a place of re-evaluating their values, their boundaries right now. What's good for me? Who am I letting in my life that don't belong there? And give me another message for Leo, please. It could be focusing on family right now, being grounded, just trying to be grounded in the home life, um, thinking of ways to be more useful, um, how to bring out the best of themselves. Might be feeling a little bit emotionally heightened. I feel like Leos are like going into themselves, re-evaluating what they've been doing, coming up with answers, building greater boundaries for themselves. Mm. 
might have to take a pause on this because <laughs> it feels like um, the energy does not want to come through like I think Leo's are being a bit a bit being cold a, a bit guarded a bit guarded about themselves working on their self-esteem so Leo's are probably going into hermit mode or you could be focusing on releasing energies that don't make you feel very stable so that you can come into your power because there's something within you that wants better knows that you are strong there's a roar in you i know i'm just i'm saying that because you are a lion but i feel like because i was feeling a sort of a block kind of feeling within your your heart chakra going into your throat chakra so it's the way you are expressing yourself is maybe changing i feel like you want to take yourself more seriously so that others may delight delight in you the respect that you deserve to have as a woman um, your power you want to work more on that instead of not feeling level and so I, I believe that you're seeing things in your life at this time that are taking away your stability or are distractions in your life and so it is your intention your focus now is settling you feel like settling in mind in spirit in feeling whole into completeness accepting yourself you might have uh, somebody some a person around you that is guiding you in a sense could be a Virgo an earth sign or, or another fire sign So the fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So if you have those people around you that are inspiring you, to, to be grounded. Now they may have hurt you and it caused you to put up a block. This person could be older than you or this could be you that's maturing because as I said I feel you're trying to come into your own right now so you, you could be maturing I feel that you're very choosy about who you're listening into your, your energy right now very very choosy So it's like a hard time. It feels more earthy. <laughs> and I got the King of Swords again. So I have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So it's a tough. I feel like it's it's like like this. The the earth is hardened. It's dry. It feels not barren, but as if it hasn't been watered in a in a while. <laughs> something has not been watered in a while as if someone has released in a while you know you're you're holding on to something even the hangman is telling me that you're holding there's something you're holding on to or wanting to release it feels like if you take a breath and you haven't released that breath as yet what are you holding on to what is Leo holding on to right now? Is it that roar? 
that roar because I was saying earlier that I feel like you need to roar and I, I feel that blockage I sense that blockage in your heart and your throat chakra so I feel it will be good if you are in that hermit mode where you're going into yourself you know getting closer to your heart space so that you can figure out more of your roots I see a lot of red in the cards you know maybe I'm um, directing me to your root your root your root chakra when you connect with your heart space knowing who you are what you are led by your purpose I feel like you want to feel more purposeful you know I feel like you've been going around doing many things you know having a lot of um, responsibilities but within your headspace, it feels like you want to feel more fulfilled and this, you're taking the time to figure out why why you're feeling that way but you're in a very good place you know that is a great place to be figuring out yourself okay so you could be surrounded by earth signs I see um yeah I see a little bit of water and I feel Cancerian energy one who expresses their emotions well well you know one who isn't afraid of using their emotions maybe you're being inspired by a Cancerian who is leading in their purpose and it's giving you a feeling of Like, uh, it's causing you to look into yourself. So, I think, yeah, so when you get to find out what's going on with your heart, feeling that what's blocking your heart space, you'll be able to express yourself more. What's going on with Leo's heart chakra, throat chakra area? Please tell me. <sighs> Release. It feels like I need to take a breath. Or scream scream like something needs to be released oh my gosh am I right Leo do you feel that need to release what what are you blocking what's Leo blocking out of their lives insensitive people People that have hurt them but have acted as if it's nothing. And no, it's it's time. Leah might be angry. Leah, you might be going through anger and you're holding it in. Like somebody did something maybe way, way in the past. But you're like, oh my god, that was years ago. Many moons ago. I shouldn't be angry. But the feelings of that trauma and mistrust is still within you and you haven't properly or effectively released it as yet so that's what i don't know you see it's like you're not talking you're not really talking you're more directing your actions and becoming your like a higher better person am i right leo <laughs> i mean it's a very it's yeah you feel you're going through a transformative state believe me i feel you i see the butterfly you know like you move from the caterpillar to the butterfly i feel that i feel like you want to move into a place of wealth health stability and not just materially but internally i feel like especially internally you feel like you want to really have proper boundaries set up for yourself right now um i want to advise you all right let me get some advice please give me some advice for leo right now if, yeah what advice can i give to leo i'm shuffling the cards but there's a block in my throat <sighs> um i feel a bit kind of um there's a feeling in my head like yes yeah, almost like hanging upside down like juggling too many things not being grounded 
and I feel like that's because you're not releasing your emotions. I feel like a scream would do you well or a cry. There's anger, frustration, but you're and you're growing. You're you're also flourishing well. There's so much life around you, so it could be that the life around you, your family, your friends. That even though they don't seem to really notice your hardness right now, your frustration, your, where the root of your anger is coming from, they're not really giving you that validation. I want to tell you that they are actually keeping you alive. The people around you are connected to your life. And they do bring you a sense of joy, peace, and comfort. Maybe give me some advice for Leo, please. They, they are going through a phase where they are not really expressing themselves and they're feeling angry. What is Leo angry at? Please give me some advice, angels, spirits, and guides for Leo. What is Leo angry? I'm going to. Okay. I was about to say I'm going to come off camera and shuffle for a while. King of Cups came out. What is Leah angry at? Wow, it feels like this person knows how. Even though the King of Cups is normally a wonderful, expressive, caring, father-like, entrepreneurial, head of house head of house kind of person i feel like this person knows how to because it's a water sign water signs no emotions they know how to get to leo like a water somebody who is a cancer Scar scorpio or pisces knows how to kind of bother bother Leo a bit so water and fire right whoa the cards feel so much for you thank you this card by the king of cups for me further so okay it's okay to speak about what you're going through sometimes I know don't block don't block me if I can all right so somebody who's the king of cups who has probably has Leo in their chart as well knows they see oh my god it's like they see you Leo they know how to and sometimes it's not intentional it's just them being themselves caring giving you a lot of attention it's probably kind of misleading a bit leading you on you um yeah, I can't. It's like something like that. But I wonder if you're being truthful, Leo, about how you're feeling. What's going on? Who is this King of Cups? I feel like this King of Cups is innocent. Like they're just. Or this person is someone who knows how to express their emotions just live life in a flow and you feel a bit hardened and it's okay because if you're in a vibration that feels like the vibration you don't want to be in then you're able to use this hardened vibration so kind of manifest the world and it is already manifesting a softer world or whatever outcome that you would like so you don't have to worry i feel like this won't last very long your feeling of maybe i want to say stuckness freeze you'll come to a clarity a clear understanding that it is not intentional what another person is or has done toward you and it is okay it is okay you know and some advice for you balance right okay and that came out underneath the this reading is going longer than i thought 
balance underneath the hangman card the hangman can represent you being of in a state of like not not being clear or you just want more time to think or you're just chilling relaxing so it came beneath it came the temperance card which speaks of value balance so i feel like if you find a way to balance your emotions find a way to have balance in your expressions you know that always with an outburst not because you're a leader that don't mean you have to go around roaring the la the loudest just to prove who you are but um also you know reaching out to people sharing your emotions asking people questions about how they're doing what's going on in their lives you know balance find balance give give more give more to yourself give love to yourself um you're being guided you are a child of the sun leo the sun card is a is a leo card or the sun represents leo the light the energy that strength force So find balance in your expressions please write out your feelings i feel like yeah being active about your emotions so you could use writing you could um play if you play music you could write poetry uh i feel like if you go out and water your garden if you have a garden you might have a garden go out and water your garden that's giving um, it's using your hand, it's sharing, it's, it's, it's expressing your emotions also. You know, having a garden is a way to really express your emotions. Because you can be kind, you can talk to, you can talk to your garden. You know, it's a way to see growth in your life and prosperity. If you're feeling a lack of growth and prosperity. Um, because you're just maybe sitting in one state of mind for a while. One place of being angry. Or one set of beliefs you are coming to realize that are not really serving your best self because it's keeping you stuck and you are in a feeling where you want to move on to being freer yeah 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 so you're very guarded but you feel no it's time to be to move to be freer so you moving from the queen of swords energy to the king of cups from the hangman to the temperance where there is balance give me a clarification card for the emperor please for leo's reading what's going on what is this emperor emperor leo oh my god I'm... this emperor looks a bit upset this emperor card feels like taurus emperor oh my god a bit upset oh there's pain I, I think that what this that is it feels like this is what i am feeling ten of swords there's pain here okay i i can feel it in my heart so <sighs> i ended my throat it caused Leo to kind of take a deep breath and not breathe again it feels like that's what I feel like so take a deep breath right now and see if it gives you a release I feel like you've been hurt betrayed at your wits end feeling like you feeling like you sometimes can do no better than to accept how people have treated you like you're so it's like um yeah. the ten also represents a new beginning so it feels like you are ready to be vulnerable be vulnerable right so 
I feel like you're ready to be vulnerable, even to hurt. Again, so you might want to express yourself because you might be feeling ready to be vulnerable, Leo. I don't know if it is a person that's causing you, I mean like a love interest that is causing you to feel this type of way. I feel like once you accept for your feeling, you know, be authentic with your emotions, that's, that's a way to, even with yourself, just say, I'm feeling a bit sad today. However you're feeling, it's okay to really say it. And you might say it out loud. I was saying earlier, you might want to write this down. Just, just get it out. Just, um, just getting that feeling out of the place of your mind in another space gives you the, um, the ability to see it from another perspective. You might want to be vulnerable right now. I don't know if you've been locking someone out of your energy. But you're feeling like flowing, Leo. You're feeling like flowing. I think you're feeling like you have had a lot of hurt. But you can manage it. You're ready. I feel like you are ready. You're ready. You are ready. Like you have dived into yourself. You've gone into your heart space. You know who you are. You know, you're, you know, setting up your boundaries right now. You have set up your boundaries. You're ready to let something in that feels like love. You're ready to journey, um, to flow, to offer your love to someone, to receive. You're ready to receive love as well. You're ready to give. And, and it not only um, is talking of romance. But maybe sharing with your community, your your family that you might have stopped talking to for a while. I feel like you might be ready to let people in so that you can have that balance in your life and be vulnerable. Like you're ready to say it is okay if someone does something toward me that might be hurtful. You're ready to, to let go. I think you're ready to let go of the hurt in the past. Oh my God, I feel... Okay. I feel like you're ready to let go of past hurt. Past hurt. Give me a shuffle, give me another shuffle, please. I feel like you're ready to let go of hurt from the past, Leo. Hurt from the past. Give me one more card. Clarify the King of Swords, please. I feel like you're ready to be vulnerable. Welcome in newness again. Let go of past hurt. <laughs> Death. Yeah, yeah. You're ready to let the, you are ready to let go of all of that darkness, all the pain that kept you subdued. It was it had a sort of a control over your mind, your emotions, the way you express yourself with people. You are ready to give it away. It's dying. It's probably already dead. You're now moving, walking into a place of being vulnerable, of being strong. You know, it feels like you're you're coming into your own where no one. It's like no one outside of myself can hurt me anymore you are ready to grow i feel like you're bursting into a new realization of your true strength as a lion as leo yes yes you're flourishing remember that death brings life if something dies something new comes along thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you leo i your reading started off slow i understand your your energy um I understand what you feel. I'm gonna close this reading off with one last card. One last card, please. A message, a final message of inspiration for Leo. Judgment. Okay, that came out well. Your time is coming. All the hurt that you went through, all this. SOBs that hurt you in the past. 
the ones that try to take a stab at you now you are coming into a place where you are knowing your worth like never before like before you might have taken it normally like oh these things happen i'm okay i'm strong but now you're saying to yourself i did not deserve that i did not deserve any of that that person was evil like that was the worst thing as a person could you're seeing your true value and when you begin to see your true value that's when you like judgment is served you know because you're not you're lo no longer feeling like you deserved it you know embracing that yes i went through that thing i did not deserve it no my values are higher than they were before I'm, you know, I don't know what you're doing to raise your value. Maybe you're expressing yourself more. Maybe you're learning from someone else. You're going into yourself and finding balance. Maybe the COVID-19 situation is causing you to really spend more time introspecting. Yes, I, you, you have been introspecting. I don't know if it is the COVID that caused that. Oh my God, this reading is long as fuck. Um, I don't... Okay, so... Basically, that's your message. Judgment, your time is coming. You will receive. You will be celebrating. You'll be celebrating for your effort. You will also be receiving blessings from the universe. It could be financial. I think that's going to be your judgment call is you are receiving something for the trauma that you went through. Because it was, it was traumatic. All right, someone left you or someone, you know, someone ghosted you, someone did you wrong as a child and you just take it and never realize it. You could have speak up for yourself because you don't deserve that. Now you're realizing I, you know, you, when you come to that realization, you are letting it go now. And through releasing it, through releasing it, you're bringing in a celebration, an acceptance of self. And you're you're actually allowing judgment to take its place so that you can be rewarded rewarded highly your values the, the value that you're putting on your life now um, despite what any 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 say any motherfucker for some reason say any motherfucker has told you <laughs> so sorry does that one come out like it's still the anger that's there that's flushing itself out of you like any beast that wanted to prey upon you or did do that because you're young or you were immature or whatever and they thought they were more mature than you and they did you wrong you're realizing that they were wrong you didn't do anything wrong you're not to blame you didn't have a shortcoming it was just there it's 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 like evidence of who they are it's their character they have to face their judgment for what they did to you. And so you're reclaiming value within yourself for someone who broke you. You know, someone who probably made you feel less. But you're coming from a very strong place. You know, you are always strong. You've always been strong. You are Leo after all. You're not coming from a wimpy, weak place. You're So you're getting even more stronger, even more powerful just by being vulnerable. Because vulnerability can be hard. So you're getting into a place of more strength, of more groundedness, stability in mind, I want to say, in mind, in mind, in, in uh, emotions. You're feeling more able to look after your wealth, your health, your emotions, to speak out, to cut off what not serve you. And that is increasing and improving your value in self. There are lots of things that we can do to improve value in self. First, cut off those people that hurt you. Those situations that don't serve you, cut them off. That is why the swords are up here. So you can ching, ching, ching. You have king and queen of swords. So you might have been doing the work before. Or you're just stepping into that. You're cutting off people like that did this shit to you, bro. Or sis, you know. They, they put you down. And they probably never even acknowledge it. You know, then just do it and let it down. They probably never even acknowledge what they do to you. Um, thank you so much for sharing. So now you're looking, you're you're going through the feelings, you're angry, you're making you're making your own judgment call 
as well up on the people that hurt you because you're no longer you know sweeping things underneath the rug you're saying hey you are not a good person this is what you did you deserve you don't even have to tell them just say it in yourself you need to really accept it in yourself leo as, as i said write it down you probably um you probably use your hands a lot to do work so so this is why you need to take a break Go in the hangman position, dive into yourself and feast, feed out your emotions them. Really nourish your emo yourself. Because you deserve more than someone hurting you and then it, it making you believe that you deserve less. It could have been from your other school or whatever, bullies. Whatever I had to work through 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 my emotions with being bullied in school too because it did make me feel less of a person. Whatever you went through you know it's okay and so when something dies that means you're probably coming into a place of forgiving healing transforming your life and then that is these two cards together i see they're so marvelous because judgment comes in to pay you back for the hard times and it brought within an innate sense of value in yourself that no one can take from you and no one can give to you this is value embedded so from now on, you lead yourself. See me? The apologies, but um, it took a while for the message to really come out. For me to see how Leo was really, really feeling. Or is feeling what they're going through. Right now, this is the central energy Leo is facing right now. It could be a love life, a work situation. But that's that. All right, Leo, so good healing. Yay. Continue to heal, to be well, to improve yourself, your self-worth, your value, your self-love. Don't, um, it's okay to let go, release, you know, as long as you come to, I'm repeating myself, I know that, um, as long as you come to a place of understanding for yourself that I did not deserve this. And this person did not mean me well it it causes the it causes the universe to really act to say well okay let me act and give judgment where it is due so you're going to receive your blessing and the person is going to definitely receive their karma if you want to know more about what your person might be receiving as karma because you know sometimes we can be curious to know how the people that hurt us will be rewarded or well, um, to them let me know in the comment section if you want to know more about your value i'll do another reading about this this sense of value coming into you but it's a good reading very strong i feel like you're so strong and powerful getting even strong i feel like <sighs> as if you are moving into like being a courageous lion like when you roar it is not out of anger it is meaningful like natural it's natural like a natural roar so even if it is anger or upset it just doesn't seem out of place it is accepted it is accepted in your space so you're moving into that powerhouse place that you belong lion leo Thank you so much for allowing me to read into your energy. Um, you have my support. Uh, you're being guided. You are being guided by the universe to, to find this balance in yourself. So if you feel alone or people are wonder why you act certain way, you know, it's okay. You just know that you're doing it because you feel that guidance is coming through. Something is saying, hey, take this, I'm giving something to you. But first you need to find that balance in really letting things go. Accepting yourself, nourishing yourself, drinking water, going out in nature. You know, vibing right, healing right, transforming your life, Leo. For the next phase of greatness in you. That's all I have for you. Take care. See if these cards have anything to say. Any last messages? I love these cards.
Do you have any last messages for Leo? Oh my gosh. Okay. The last message is this. Ten of that. Did you see how that flew out? All right. Mm. Ten of swords. Which, and you have it here too. It's really just saying let let go. Or it's coming to an end. The feelings. The, like. There's burdens of feelings of burdensome emotions sometimes. So the last message is they are no longer holding you back. They are moving away from you while you work through loving yourself, nourishing yourself, flourishing. I feel like I could go on forever and I would it would come out I would see something looking like a flower flourish a flower a flourish flower you know I feel like eventually that's what I would come to flourishing flower eight of pentacles wow a lot of value in yourself moving into a place of more stability groundedness um, knowing who you are seeing in the universe and in others who you are speaking clearly who you are having solace in yourself to Knowing how to be by yourself. That is the there's a new beginning coming of releasing and accepting. Alright? Great, great job. Great job keeping grounded. Much love to you, Leo. Next time.